What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw facial hair. Now at first I'm going to show you guys how to draw just a regular ordinary old mustache here and then I'm going to draw sort of like a pencil brush kind of mustache. A mustache that really kind of sits onto the face. But if that doesn't make sense I'll walk you through it. But then when we come down here we're going to start drawing some beards. And when I draw the beard for this face I'm actually going to combine that with the mustache that we draw up here. And the same goes for this head except the beard is going to be slightly smaller. But again if some way somehow none of this makes sense to you guys I'll walk you through it don't worry. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, so for this first mustache, what I am going to do is see where the nose is. I'm going to start off by drawing a circle on one side of the nose. And then a circle on the other side of the nose. See how they're kind of connected? But one circle is going to kind of overlap the one. Because since the face overall is at a three-quarter view, we're going to see more of one side of the mustache than the other. So this circle... This is the one side of the mustache that we're going to see first, so we're going to make that overlap the other circle. So let me erase these lines. Fix that circle. And then to make the overall mustache, what we can do is come off of one part of each circle and make sort of a yin-yang kind of shape. So you see how I'm coming off the circle and making sort of a curve up? And then when I curve up, it kind of tapers at the end. So a yin yang shape or a comet shape or a comma actually, so that could also work. But I did it for one, now let's do it with the other. So you see how this entire curve goes this way? The other curve will go this way. And then have it taper in the end. And then I'm also going to have it curve up because that's something that mustaches tend to do. Okay, and then now I'm going to erase the guidelines. And as you may notice, it's kind of hard to see the mouth. And that's okay because that's something a mustache tends to do as well. It starts to kind of cover up the mouth in a way. But you can also shift the mouth so that way it's still kind of visible. But that's up to you. But now since we're at the end of the shape... I'm going to make a couple hairs coming off of the mustache to make because a mustache is hair so it only makes sense but you could leave it how it was it's totally fine that's another thing that's also up to you and then I'm gonna have like one small strand of hair coming off and yeah and then I'm gonna erase this guideline in the middle and there we go we got our basic mustache Alright, and there's one mustache, and let me transition to the next face and show you how to do another one. So another kind of facial hair will be a pencil brush mustache, and it's the easiest kind of mustache to make. So I'm going to come off of one side of the nose, I'm going to start on this side, and then I'm going to start to make some scribbles. Like this. And then I'm going to have it come down, like so, and kind of taper at the end. So you see how I did that? I'm going to do it to the other side, so, I can, so that way you guys can see that a little better. So just, uh, just start doing some scribbles, make the lines kind of broad, and then make the lines shorter as you uh, scribble. And then as you do that, the lines should taper, something like that. There are different kinds of mustaches that use one pencil stroke in the same direction, like this. That's also a mustache, so I believe that's why they call it a pencil brush mustache. But now that we're still over here, what I am going to do is add a little bit of facial hair coming off of the chin. Just sort of like a curved triangle shape. And color that in. Something like that. And there we go, we got our pencil brush mustache. And now let's move on. So those two mustaches were really quick and easy, but now we're gonna combine one of those mustaches and create a beard. So let's draw the same mustache that we made up here by starting off with our two circles. One overlaps the other because the face is at a three quarter view.
make a yin yang symbol or half of a yin yang symbol and just complete it all add a few strands of hair if you want And then let me ink that right quick with my ink pen. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna make this character look somewhat like a Santa Claus character. Because every drawing or photograph you may have seen of Santa Claus, he has a mustache and a beard. First thing I'm gonna do, since I brought up Santa Claus, I'm gonna make a Santa hat at the top. And now that I drew the hat, what I can do is start the hair coming off of the hairline. I'm just going to come in closer to the ear. Something like this. So not, it's not exactly right up onto the ear, but it's close enough. And then I'm going to come down. And now I'm making this line so that way it's closer to the contours of the face, but not exactly. So actually, this line is going to touch one side of this mustache. I'm going to erase every other line that I made. And then that patch of hair is going to come underneath the mustache and make sort of this line. And then as we make that line, it's going to come right underneath the mouth. So it's going to make sort of, a, sort of the same shape of the mouth that I have here. Sort of like a U shape. Like that. And then let's come off with this part of the ear now. And we're going to begin to make the actual beard. So I'm going to make this line coming around the ear. And then I'm going to begin mapping the shape of the beard. So it's going to be like one big bag. Sort of hanging off of the ears kind of. And I'll show you. So like a regular grocery shopping bag. That's going to be the shape of the beard. So you see how circular I'm making it? It's going to come around and touch the other side of the face, like this. Okay, and then everything underneath will be covered up, so let me erase those real quick. And then using the shape that we drew, I'm going to kind of draw some strands of hair coming off of the beard. Something like this. And then I'm just going to have it taper right here in the middle because that's where the middle is. Because again, this face is at a three quarter view. And as a matter of fact, all of them are. And then just a little patch of hair back here. That won't really matter. But I just like to draw that. But yeah. And this part won't matter either, but it's still hair. So you probably can't see the accents that I applied to the hair, but I got my ink pen now and I'm about to show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so this might not be an exact match to Santa Claus, but it's a good example of drawing facial hair. But what I am going to do is, since I still have my Pentel sign pen, I'm actually going to provide a few strands of hair over here. And these lines over here also serve another purpose because I'm using these to add some sort of a shadow. And at the same time, I'm showing the strands of hair that's over here in this area. In just this area, actually. And then you can do that to some hair over here as well. But yeah, that's how you do it. So let me transition to the next face so I can show you guys how to do a smaller version of a beard combined with this mustache. Okay, so just like what we did over here with this Santa Claus looking character, we're actually not going to start off over here where the hairline is when we draw the beard. We're going to start off here at the ear this time. So it's going to make like a little curve off of the ear to start drawing the beard. So that way, you, without the mustache, you can see what I was doing. So I'm going to come off of here. And as you can see, I'm keeping a close distance away from the contours of the face. But as I come towards the mouth, the distance will get even further away. 
So you see how there's a lot more space over here compared to over here. That's exactly what we want. And actually, let me fix this line up too. And it's going to be the same on the other side as well. But keep in mind that this face is at a three-quarter view, so we're not going to see much of this side. Okay. And then once we come to a stopping point that's a close enough distance from the mouth, we're going to come up and make sort of a straw shape. Like a, like a drinking straw kind of shape. Coming off like this. And then the same on the other side. Drinking straw shape, but in reverse. And then coming off of this side of the ear, we're gonna begin to make a smaller version of this beard. So let's come off of the face and go around it, around the contours. And like I mentioned before, this is gonna be sort of like a, a shopping bag kind of shape hanging off of the ears. Because when you think about it, this entire shape looks like a shopping bag that's just hooked onto your ear. That's what I keep trying to say. But again, this is gonna be a smaller version of this beard, so we're not gonna make it as big as we did before. Okay, and there are a lot of lines everywhere, but we'll get rid of some of them in a minute. But we just got one more part to do, and all we gotta do is go around the mouth. Make sort of a U shape. Or since the mouth is at this kind of U shape already, you can just follow the contour of the mouth and just go around it pretty much. And then I'm gonna actually have this hair kind of hooking onto the chin, which is this line right beneath the mouth, but not onto the face. So I'm gonna hook onto the chin, then come back off the chin and just erase that line. And that's what we got. So now let me take my ink pen and I'm just gonna define these contours. But instead of using the shapes that I used to draw this beard, I'm actually gonna use something like a puff shape. Something like this. And then I'm just gonna have a smaller version of it on the face. Smaller puffs on the straw shape that we drew. On the chin, off the chin. Continue with that shape. All right, and that's how you draw a smaller version of this beard, but combining this mustache. So here's all the mustaches and facial hair that we covered in today's video. Let me know if this video was useful for you guys. And if it was, make sure you give this video a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.